So here we are at Overhaddon and a slightly wet day, but we're going to do some limestone pitch paving. And so what you do is you have to sort out all your limestone so you get an even thickness. So what I'm doing here, you can see that I'm sorting so that we've got a reasonably even sort of set of, of, of stone. And then what we're going to do is to create arcs. So we've got this sort of quadrant, which we framed by, uh, you know, putting the uh, limestone pitch on edge. And then we're going to do like circles all the way in. So in order to do that, what I'm going to do is I've mixed up this sort of, uh, you can use about four to one or five to one. Uh, it's a mixture of uh, crushed limestone and cement. And I've actually laid a few sort of, just in here, dry if you like, and I'm going to put them to one side. Is to put some mix in there. You can use 10 mil ballast. You can use washed sand. So you're not restricted to one particular thing. So we're just going to put a mix in there. Just grab my trowel, and what we do is. We just kind of level it out a little bit, but the problem is it all depends on what you've got to lay. So like this one will go in there, and at the moment if I put that in, that would be too low. But I'm just going to put that in there just to give me a guide, pick a bit more mix, drop that on top. So we'll pop that mix on top, put it in there, and I've got to balance that into the rest of it now. So what I'm going to do is just tap that in tap it down there okay and then what we do is I just get a little piece of wood and wedge it a little bit underneath as I just wedge that in now you can use a dry mix and wet it afterwards so you don't have to do this but that's one way and then the next one on we go so again just pop that up there pop your stone in place. in fact I'm going to use it that way because it's going to work a little bit better for me and again, we're just going to set it up a little bit higher, just so you are knocking it down. You don't want to be not knocking it in because you, you know you want a good contact. So I'm going to this time I've got to hold it with one hand, tap it with the other one, and tap it into place. If you want to, you can leave a little gap so that your fill will drop down there, and any slight irregularities will, you can overcome it. Again, a little bit of consolidation. And then you're on to the next one, okay? And that's sort of creating this sort of arc all the way around. So that's kind of what we're doing here, okay?